When you are ready to search for an image for your project, you're going to type in the name of whoever or whatever it is you're looking for. Uh, and fortunately, when we click here on images, we just get the whole internet and it's too much. And we can't have everything because everything is not copyright free. So what you can do is you can uh, do an advanced search and there are a couple of ways you can do that. See over here in these little slider bars for the filters, right? We can over here on the right, click on usage rights. And right here we can select Creative Commons licenses. So that will narrow down our search and it gives us only images that are copyright free. We can do it that way. Like I said, Creative Commons licenses. Now the other thing you can do is when you're in all of your image search or all of your searching, all the way down at the very bottom, click on settings, click advanced search and then you can type in who or what you're looking for. And then this last option here is usage rights. So when you're clicking on usage rights, you might also again click Creative Commons. Uh, sometimes the options look different depending on the, um, the device you're using. But the other option you might want to choose is one that says free to use, share, or modify. Free to use, share, or modify will give you copyright free images as well. So once you find one you're happy with, you're just going to click on it and do a hold. When you hold on it, you can, if you're on your Android like me, you can just download the image. If you're on an iPhone, your options when you hold down might say something like add to photos or add to camera roll or things like that. So save your image, open up your photos, and then you should find it in your camera roll or right there for me in my downloads.